Okay, good day, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, got a bunch of cameras set up today. Gonna do uh, how to set and fish your downrigger, basically. Um, I always seem to use the one on the starboard side. I have both on the boat. I don't know if that one's on the camera or not. It's, it's there, it's not being used. Um, if I really wanted to, I could put like a dummy flasher down, but you don't need to on this lake. So I'm just about to come off of a, a ledge. I'm in 67 feet of water here, and there's, there's some fish sitting right on the bottom. I can see on the sonar, I'll show that after. Um, basically, when I get started, downrigger is just how I left it yesterday. Unhook that, take a little bit of slack, open up this clip, probably the hardest thing you'll do. 15 pound ball I use, so we'll lift that, put her on there, close that down. Now I already have the release on there, on the back fin. So what I do is I just hold down, uh, hold down the pivot, look her out, and I just hold onto the release here, and I slowly let that ball into the water. I do not drop it. Let a little slack out on that line, on the weight retriever. And I'm gonna let some, I still got the string too long. I'll tuck that in here. My power for my downriggers is also tucked in here. So I'll just plug this guy in here. I haven't even tested these yet. I'm just trusting that they'll work because I know they will. All right, there's that, there's that. And I'll let some die down. So to let line down, uh, I'll just bend this camera down, I think. Yeah, just gonna see it. So to let line out, all you do is pull the brake handle back. I haven't turned on the counter yet. So I'll turn that on. Uh, how do I wanna do this? I'll go, I'll let some line out. I slowly let the brake on. I'm gonna turn the knob. I'm gonna get everything set to zero right now. Okay, so the weight's at the bottom, I'm minus two, so I'll press the zero button on the downrigger here. I'll open up that for later. Now, what I like to do, I'm moving. There's fish down there, which is fantastic. I like to use line counters. So again, I'll zero that off. Kind of a little bit of a cast out. Magic number, use whatever you want. I lay my rod down. Grab the string here, let it down low, pull the ball towards me, grab the release, grab my line, which is fluorocarbon there. Now, what I do is I put it right on the outside of the black line here. And that just works with my 30 pound, or sorry, 25 pound. Now what I'll do, if there's fish at 70 feet, so I'm gonna pull the handle back, watch the counter, can also watch the sonar screen and I got my thumb on the line here on my spool of line. I can watch the line drop. So I'm gonna run this down to where the fish are. Which is right about there. 83 feet, one of my go-to numbers. I'm gonna slide this into the orca, lock her down, and then tighten the rod down. Now we want to have a good bend in the rod like that. Can't see the camera, there we go. Yeah, good bend in the rod, so when we do hit a fish, it's gonna spring up. So I'm gonna speed us up a little bit, so we're not going fast enough yet. But that's basically how you set it. Now we'll get this thing up to about two miles an hour. And we'll see what, uh, what transpires. So I don't wanna have that weight retriever in the water so I'll pull it up and now we're just gonna troll along the banks here and see what we can get into we're watching for that rod to either start bouncing or to actually pop out of the release with a fish on it so yeah 2.7 2.8 so it's perfect speed miles an hour That downrigger ball is right near the bottom right now. And there's fish down there. And all we're gonna do is just come off this bank and see what hits. It's a gorgeous sunny day out here. 
I couldn't really get much nicer out here. It could just get hotter, that's about it. So, we'll see what happens here. We're at 80 feet. Now the downrigger is at 83 feet, but because the ball is splayed back some, it's, it's actually not at 83 feet. On the sonar screen, I can see it, it's at about 75 feet. So, you're gonna, that's why, you know, the heavier the ball, the, um, the, the closer to the boat it's gonna be. That's why I run 15 pound balls off my boat. There we go. And now it's kind of a waiting game. So when you're downrigging, it's a lot of waiting, right? You, you set it and you forget it. And we just, we just drive along and this is where driving is important because you got to follow your contours and follow your mapping, of course. Depending where you are, you, you, can, you can bounce the ball off the bottom, off the sand. Sometimes you don't want to though. Oh, then there's a fish. So that's what happened. Well, yep, that's a fish. So you lift straight up, take this here. Oh, wow. It's actually a good fish. I'm gonna stop the boat. Since I'm alone, I'll stop the boat. Um, I'll turn the black knob here to on, so it's auto, auto, auto stop. So that's gonna come all the way up. It's at 50 feet already. So I'm fighting the fish, and the downrigger is doing its job. It actually, feels like a decent fish for uh, for something I haven't felt in a while. I haven't downrigged in a while, so. So now the ball's up to stop doing its thing. And I'm fighting the fish. Nothing in the way, just me and the fish now. This is a nine foot rod. Like I said, nice and whippy. There's my fluorocarbon leader. So I still got 38 feet to go. So I got 40 feet of fluoro on here. I do tweak these Northern Kings. I put a single hook on them. Six feet, there he is. That's not a big fish. But, there we go. There's our fish right there. I'll just grab them underneath the gill plate here. Pop that barbless hook out. He's gonna flop around a bit, but there it is. There's your little fish. Felt a lot bigger. And then just release him. Off he goes. Ah, so now I'm basically set up to go again. So um, all I need to do is this is already zeroed off. Get the boat back into gear. Get it doing its thing. I'm going the right direction because I got so I have outboard autopilot in this boat so that means I'm actually like I'm not even touching the steering wheel you can see the motors are moving um, I can steer the outboard from this remote or from the sonars from the HDS lives so let out however much line you want that'll work again I just set the rod down now we got a little bit of a tangle here this time when we did come up but that's fine I'll just hold the weight and untangle it this does get a little hard, it is heavy. You're holding a 15 pound hunk of lead here. So, there I go. I'll grab my line, put it in the release. I don't like to drop this either. I like to let it down slowly. Boat's all over the place. So I'm gonna steer out of this myself. this figured out. A lot of bait fish at 10, 15 feet. Holy moly. All right. So just get her turned along this bank. be for depth a little shallow so I'm gonna go out a bit we're at 60 feet here the hardest part is basically keeping on your depth I could sit here and program a, a depth contour for the autopilot but I kind of like to go up and down the bank um, that way I get more more pound and sand and a little bit of agitation down there and go from there So. 
so we're starting to drop because I'm going straight out for depth and basically here I'll drive until I see fish now I don't see anything I see the thermocline at 38 feet which that's the first time I've seen that this year so that's good okay we got a fish at 60 we're starting to drop into 70 into 80 so we'll turn get straight and then go from there Pick your number on your downrigger counter and make it yours. Everybody's got their own numbers. Okay. Well, again, so I open up my, my free spool, I thumb it, I pull back the handle here and I work them together. You can go fast, you can go slow, but I always slow it down when I get near my number. I don't I don't hammer down on it. Lock that, lift that up, slip it in, make sure your line's not pinched. Right there, don't want to pinch your line in the orca. And then tighten it down. And then when she springs, she sets the hook. Now I'll do this real quick. There's the screen, there's the downrigger ball going across. There's actually a fish coming up on it there. So that's what I'm looking at there. And then on the chart, I'm looking at, at that there. And there's your numbers. And you see that? Yeah, that's what we're looking at on the chart. So right now, it almost looks like there's a fish coming down on the hook. Oh, she's out. Fish on. You saw it, I didn't. <laughs> Good. Okay, stop that, stand by that. Put these on for safety more than anything right now. I didn't even see that rod go off. So that's the key to putting, you know, I'm just gonna turn this off too. That's the key to where you put that fluoro in your release. If you bury that too deep in that release past that black line, it, it might not pop out on its own and you're gonna actually have to pull it out of the release. The rods that we use for downrigging, being so flimsy and bendy, are like that for a reason. So we load them up. So when that fish does hit, if it pulls it out of the release, your line's going down. How do I do this? Down and then back. But there's actually a little bit of a bow in it because we can't be perfectly straight. So now we got to get rid of this and make it a straight line. So in doing so, holy, in doing so, uh, we wanted those long rods to do that and the boat moving is gonna help that. So that's why we, we do all that stuff. Fish is close, cause I'm 25 feet. I can feel that front hook kinda thumping in its mouth. So the hook's out of its mouth, uh, the spoon part. But yeah, we'll just get this thing up. We'll get a quick picture of it. And there it is. Yeah, just another little one. I tend to find this midsummer time of year when we're catching on the downriggers, the fish seem to be smaller midsummer. Um, you catch, I find you catch the bigger ones trolling, but, or sorry, jigging. Jigging, vertical jigging gets bigger fish normally, but I have caught big fish doing this. So I let him stop spinning and then I will quickly grab him. Now the hook's right in the bottom of the mouth, underneath, he hit it, must have hit it from the side, but because it's barbless, this spins right out. Oh, there's a little bit caught there. I guess there's a little bit of a barb left. So I'm just gonna get a quick picture on the phone, real quick. Let's get you back. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this video on uh, setting up downrigger how-to. Uh, I had a corrupt file out on the lake when I was doing this the other day, so now that I'm in editing, I'm just going to uh, do it now. So basically, uh, that's the, the Coles notes on what to do. Um, you know, set your release, where to put your line in the release, and that sort of stuff. So speaking of the releases, um, you know, here is your basic release. You have the thick, heavy, I don't know if it's probably mono that they use on those. And, you know, you squeeze it and she opens up. 
So there's also a piece here. You can actually pull this back and it makes it even a tighter grip. So maybe if you're using braid, you want to use, you know, pull it back so you got a tighter, tighter grip up here. I like to push it in and leave it at its normal weight. There's that black line I referred to in the video. So when I'm setting my fluorocarbon, I'm just going to use the line from here. You squeeze it and put it in right there. So I'm just on the outside of this black line here and there's one on both sides. So that's why you can set it from either way. And then when the fish bites, it'll pull and it'll snap it out. And this will just be, obviously this will be this way. This will be your line coming out. And like I said in the video, you got a bit of an arc coming down to the release here and then it's going out your distance to your spoon. And when the fish pulls it out of the release, all that line needs to be made up. That's why we have those soft rods. Uh, most of them are mediums, you know, extra fast, that kind of stuff. So we have lots of uh, lots of backbone still for fighting these things, but you got lots of bend in them to set the hook and fight the fish on the way up. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. I got more stuff coming your way. Uh, tips, tricks, all that fun stuff, day in the life of. So uh, thanks for everything, and we'll see you in the next video.